Hello my friends, welcome to Anna's Violets. Today we're going to plant this monstera in this clay pot using this soil from Biofloor. It's a universal soil and we will use these sticks to help support the plant to grow, to grow straight. I'm going to wear my gloves now because I assume that I will be working with the soil and it will be quite messy. I have another video with monstera. I have two monsteras and the, the first one is the small one. You can see the video in the top right corner. I was planting um, that monstera again in a pot and I was telling you some care tips. So if you would like to check that video out, click on the, on the link and check that video out. And today we're going to talk about this bigger monstera, which has already all fenestrations and real holes on the leaves. I will open it up in a second and you will see how gorgeous this plant is. I'm going to talk about light, about watering, but also what's most important, how to um, repot monstera and how to do it correctly so that you don't damage the roots. So I will speed up the whole video so that you don't get bored because I will be planting for a quite long time but my tips will be much shorter because I, I have already a longer video about um, general care tips. Let's open this Monstera and you will see now the beauty, the whole beauty of it and also consider subscribing because on my channel we are talking about all plants gardening and if you are into plants if you grow plants or want to start growing plants then this channel is definitely for you okay look at this gorgeous plant how big it is and in it's actually growing in a, in a tiny pot i would say it's not even a small pot but it's a tiny pot of course usually you can find this kind of things in uh, the stores in the greenhouses in garden centers where the plants really big plants come in very tiny pots that's of course uh, to save the space and to make it easy for transportation, but whatever. All right, so I've put uh, a little bit of soil in this clay pot and I'm trying to measure now to see the depth of the plant. Is it fine? It should be deeper or maybe a little bit higher. So definitely a little bit higher. So I'm going to add a little bit of more soil here. The soil uh, I use is a universal soil that you can use for most of your plants. You can also mix a little bit of perlite and I will try to loosen up the soil a little bit. Um, so what's the most important thing when you repot your monstera? Well, first of all, if the, if the roots are tight in the pot, try to be a little bit gentle with the roots, of course, but try to loosen them up a little bit so that they don't uh, continue growing in circles. Um, that's very important because even if you repot or pot your monstera, uh, um, in a bigger pot and the roots are still in circle like tight really together they can uh, it's called muscle memory maybe you've heard but the roots still continue to go in circles if you don't lose up the roots so that's important as you can see this monster has this all uh, wonderful aerial roots these aerial roots are necessary for the plant because in the nature it uses uh, for support first of all to cling on other uh, trees and to grow straight so it doesn't mean that it's an epiphyte but it uh, the, these roots help definitely help to for the plant to grow straight uh, also these roots uh, absorb moisture and humidity from the air so i have noticed for so many times that people say i don't like the roots i cut them well you can definitely cut them if you don't like them however this is a little bit uh, harmful for the plant your plant will not die will not get rotten or will not dry off however additional humidity from the air is really beneficial for your plant because this is how this plant grows it takes the humidity from the soil but if you are late with watering then from the air the um, the roots can take the humidity that they need for proper growth okay i'm adding a little bit of soil here i just put the plant in the center and i'm trying to add soil from all the sides and I'm trying to make it a little bit tight to stabilize the plant in the pot. What I'm going to do later, I will water it, of course, so that uh, the soil is moist. And I'm going to put the plant in a very bright place. You can also grow your monsteras in semi-shade, even in shade. But in, when it's growing in a bright area, that's the best place for it. Because then it will grow really fast, really um, you know in a wonderful way and it can become uh, even a, like something like a tree of even three meters even growing inside indoors as for the watering 
The pot is really big, so I will need to be very careful not to overwater it. However, that is why I chose the clay pot, because the clay pot will be breathing from all the sides of the pot. It's not ceramic, it's not plastic, it will be breathing and the, the water will evaporate very fast. So in the summer months, I will not have any problem with it. In winter, well, I will just try to reduce the watering and the periods of watering. And I will use these sticks to help the plant for now, as the roots are not yet grown into the soil. So I will use these four sticks to help support the plant, to make it, you know, stay uh, straight and grow upward. Afterwards, maybe I can remove them. We'll see how it goes. But for now, this, this will be a very nice support so that the plant can lean on it and uh, yeah so that it doesn't bend or fall down you know if anything in this video was useful for you consider subscribing click on the bell button leave your comments if you grow these plants tell me about your environment how you take care of these plants and stay passionate about plants see you next time